Digging Dave here. What's up, guys? Doing a classic two box penny hunt. Have this style box, box one. A Brinks box, box two. We have an ender in each box, both reverse. There's a wheat penny reverse there in box one. And in box two, yeah, we have a reverse wheat penny right there as well. So let's start with box one. Let's get digging. Rule number six of box one, that was the Wheat Penny Ender roll, and it was reverse facing. It's going to be a 1957 Philadelphia. That's the only Wheat Penny in the roll. Hopefully we find some more stuff. Let's keep on digging. Roll number 12 of box one, we're going to get a, finally get another Wheat Penny, number two. Ooh, that's a date I don't see a lot. 1954S. Nice. 1954 San Francisco. Let's keep on digging. Well, guys, box number one's uh, being a little slow. I'm on roll 23, almost at the halfway point. Finally going to get another wheat penny. Only wheat penny number three for the box. This one's not in terrible condition. Looks pretty nice. 56 Denver. Let's keep on digging. Well, I'm on roll 34. We're going to have wheat penny number four. So it's been a pretty slow box. It looks like there's glue. I don't know. This is very strange looking. It looks like there's glue or something on the back of this wheat penny. The part where there's like glue almost looks like the wheat penny still has luster on it. Some sort of glue or chemical on it. I'm not sure. 58 Denver though. So nothing too special, but another wheat penny. Thought I would just give you guys a little update. Let's keep on digging. 16 rolls left in box number one. Very next roll, roll 35. Hopefully the box is going to start to pick up a little bit. We're going to have Wheat Penny number 5. Pretty nice condition. 1951 out of Denver. Nice. Roll 37 of box 1. It's picking up a little bit. I just got an absolutely beautiful Wheat Penny. Guys, I saw the date on it already. It's not in the 50s. Normally when you find a wheat penny in this condition, it's in like the 50s. This is beautiful. Look at this. 1946. It's a common wheat penny the year. It's high mintage, but 1946. That is a beauty. All right, let's keep on digging. Just finished box number one. We're going to end with six wheat pennies. So a little light on the wheat pennies. My average is normally 10 to 14 a box. So light on the wheat pennies, all 40s and 50s, no oldies, unfortunately. But the find of box one, I put it in a flip. This 1946, just in really nice condition. I don't find wheat pennies from the 40s and earlier in this condition very often. Six wheat pennies, a couple Canadian cents. I think we had like two young heads, both 64, so they're pretty common. Let's keep on digging into penny box number two for this video. Roll number five of box two. We're going to have the first Wheat Penny. Just a 1944. I'll take it, though. Let's keep on digging. Roll number 10 of Box 2 was the Wheat Penny Ender here in Box 2. The Ender was reverse-facing. It's right here. Pretty nice condition. 58 Denver. And there was another Wheat Penny in the roll with it. So the Ender and another Wheat Penny. 55 Denver. 10 rolls in, 3 Wheat Pennies. Let's keep on digging. Roll number 13. We're going to have Wheat Penny number 4 for box 2. A 1945. Let's keep on digging. Roll 15. I think I might have a older Wheat Penny, guys, just by the look of it. Looks a little more... I don't know how to explain it, but like older Wheat Pennies have a certain look to them. They just look more worn down and the reverse looks a little different. And yeah... 1926, nice. If that had an S mint mark, it'd be a semi-key date, I believe. I found 126S before. It's pretty low mintage. 26 Philadelphia, though, I think is pretty common, but still an oldie. 1926, 98 years old. All right, let's keep on digging. Roll 22. We're going to have Wheat Penny number 6 for box 2. A 44 Denver. Let's keep on digging. I'm on roll 31, just got wheat penny number 7. Box has been a little slow, but at least we're finding some wheat pennies in box 2. 1938, sweet. I'm on roll 38, guys, a box 2. Gonna get wheat penny number 8. It's 
This one's not bad looking. Got a little luster still on it. 56 Denver. Let's keep on digging. Just finished box two and we got one more wheat penny. Let's see what it is. Just a 58 Denver. So we're going to end with nine wheat pennies. I've uh, got a 44, 58 Denver, 55 Denver, 45, all 40s and 50s, other than we got a 38 and a 1926. Got a few Canadian cents as well, all more um, newer. Not there, there was no old Canadian cents. So nine wheat pennies, did get a 38 and a 26, so not terrible. Let's go ahead and do a wrap-up for this two-box penny hunt. So we didn't get a ton of fines in this two-box $50 penny hunt, but... uh. Box one had six, box two had nine wheat, so we got 15 wheat pennies. I'd like to get like 15 wheat pennies in one box, so a little light on the wheat pennies, like I said, all 40s and 50s here. We did get that beautiful 1946 in just a really nice condition, nice luster on it. And then we did get that 1926 and a 1938. No errors or varieties or double dies. Uh, we got quite a few Canadian cents between two boxes. I think the oldest there, 1964. Um, yeah, two young head 64s. Guys, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep on digging.